Charles Cullen, the Angel of Death Charles Cullen is a name that sends shivers down the spines of those who have encountered his story. Known as the Angel of Death, Cullen was a registered nurse who committed one of the most extensive and sinister series of murders in American medical history. This video delves deep into the life, crimes, and the aftermath of Charles Cullen, shedding light on the man behind the moniker and the shocking extent of his actions. Charles Cullen was born on February 22, 1960, in West Orange, New Jersey, USA. His early life appeared relatively unremarkable. He grew up in a working-class family, attended local schools, and, at first glance, seemed like an ordinary young man. However, beneath this facade, there were signs of trouble. Cullen struggled with depression and attempted suicide on several occasions during his teenage years, foreshadowing the darkness that would come. Cullen pursued a career in nursing, a choice that would ultimately provide him with the means to carry out his murderous actions. He received his nursing degree from the Mountainside School of Nursing in 1986. Cullen then began working at various hospitals in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, starting his career with good intentions to help others. Cullen's descent into darkness began in the late 1980s when he administered a lethal dose of medication to a patient at the burn center of St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston, New Jersey. This act marked the beginning of a spree of murders that would span over a decade. Cullen's modus operandi was chillingly simple. He would inject his victims with a deadly cocktail of medications, often overdosing them with drugs like insulin, digoxin, or epinephrine. These deaths often went unnoticed or were attributed to natural causes, allowing him to continue his killing spree unchecked. As Cullen moved from one hospital to another, his body count continued to rise. He worked at various healthcare facilities, including Warren Hospital, Hunterdon Medical Center, and Somerset Medical Center, leaving a trail of unexplained deaths in his wake. His actions did not discriminate. Victims ranged from the elderly to infants. The motive behind his murders remained somewhat murky. Cullen himself later claimed that he believed he was alleviating the suffering of terminally ill patients. However, this rationale doesn't hold up under scrutiny, as many of his victims were not facing imminent death. Cullen's killing spree might have continued indefinitely if not for the vigilance of hospital staff and investigators. Colleagues at Somerset Medical Center became suspicious of the high number of deaths occurring during Cullen's shifts and alerted hospital authorities. This prompted an internal investigation, which ultimately led to Cullen's arrest in December 2003. During his interrogation, Cullen confessed to the murders, providing chilling details about his methods and motives. His arrest sent shockwaves through the medical community and left many wondering how such a series of killings could go undetected for so long. In March 2006, Charles Cullen pleaded guilty to 22 murders, although he claimed to have killed many more. His motive remained unclear, and he never fully explained why he committed these heinous acts. In a plea deal, Cullen received 18 consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. He is currently serving his sentence at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton. Charles Cullen's case shed light on the vulnerabilities within the healthcare system that allowed his crimes to go unnoticed for so long. It raised questions about the monitoring of medical professionals and the sharing of information between healthcare institutions. In response to the Cullen case, several states, including New Jersey, enacted legislation to improve the reporting of suspicious deaths in healthcare facilities. Hospitals also implemented stricter medication control measures and increased oversight of nursing staff. To understand Charles Cullen's actions, it's essential to delve into the psyche of a serial killer. Cullen exhibited many traits commonly associated with serial murderers. He had a history of depression and suicidal tendencies, which often contribute to a person's willingness to take extreme actions. Additionally, he showed signs of a god complex, believing that he had the authority to decide who lived and who died. Cullen's case also highlighted the complex issue of mercy killing within the medical profession. While some may argue that he genuinely believed he was ending the suffering of terminally ill patients, the majority of his victims did not fit this category. This raises questions about the ethics of healthcare providers making life and death decisions on behalf of their patients. Charles Cullen's story is a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk behind seemingly ordinary individuals. Thanks for watching.